Hi, I'm Matt. I'm the AI sales engineer here at Avalites in London. And today we're going to be covering how to encode your videos into the AIM format using Adobe products. So the first thing you're going to want to do is on your laptop or whatever machine you're using to encode your media, you want to have Adobe Media Encoder downloaded. This is available from their website. I think you get a free trial, and it comes with their Creative Cloud suite of products. If you're rendering your videos straight from After Effects or Premiere, you can send it to the render queue of Media Encoder and encode your uh, movies straight into the AIM format without having to do any transcoding. So as we know, in AI, you have to use the AIM codec to have your videos play smoothly in AI. And if they're not, you can easily transcode it using this method. So the first thing we're going to do is once we have Adobe Media Encoder downloaded, you go to the Avalites website, Software Downloads AI, and you can download the AIM codec plugin for Adobe. I've got that in my downloads. I'm just going to run it now. So the installer will run on its own. You may need to uh, authorize Windows to install this, but that can be found in More Info Run Anyway. Click Install. It'll run through this process of putting all the files in the correct location. And there we go. Finish. Now, if you need any help at this point, there will also be a rendering guideline on the website where you can read and see screenshots of exactly how to do this process as well. So now that that's run, we can open up Adobe Media Encoder, let it load up, and here we go. So you see, I already have something in my queue. Let me just delete that. And I've just got a short little video here, which we can add in. OK. So as standard, it may load in with different settings. And what you want is to select the format here. And you'll notice a new option for AIM, Avalites AI. That's the option that you want. So select that, go your preset, and you can go into more options by clicking the AIM Avalites AI. Now we come to our export settings. You can see your clip on the left, the, all of the source, frame rate, uh, format, all the rest of it. And here you've got the options of how you want it encoded. So we're going to match the source resolution, so 1920, 1080, stick with a 60 frames per second. But this can be changed if you're using uh, any other formats. You always want to match your frame rate to what your final screens will be running at. So if you're using 50 hertz broadcast in the UK or the rest of Europe, then you want to stick to that. If you're using 60 in the United States, uh, best to stick to that. And Adobe will handle all of the interframe. You may find that you have uh, some jittering in your video if it's not from the original source. Uh, so best case scenario, have the original video in the exact same frame rate as what the output will be at the end of the show. You have an option to discard alpha channels or pre preserve alpha channels. It's worth noting that your file will be 33% larger if you choose to preserve alpha channels, as it will contain RGBA. And optimize for. There are three different formats in AIM. Uh, quality, performance, and super stream. I like to go super stream most of the time, but that will mean that your file sizes are larger. Essentially, the difference between them uh, has to do with the compression used and more details can be seen in the rendering guide if you have a read of that. So for this, I'm going to go super stream and encode threads. This is how many threads are on your machine. I know that I'm running a quad core processor with no hyper threading, so I'm just going to click four. You're generally pretty safe with four threads. And I can choose to go to audio as well. And this is where I can choose if I want audio encoded in the video. 
Yeah, so that looks good to me. I'm going to click export audio, export video. And output name video one. OK. And run. So now that transcoding process is happening. Once that's done, we can load that into AI and you can run your videos just like any other stock content on the AI Media server. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop us an email uh, or have a look at some of these other videos and we'll see you guys soon.